Hey, good morning. Yes, so most Duval County schools at least are doing pretty well. The majority of them, 93%, have at least a C or higher grade given to them. Right now we are at Hendricks Avenue Elementary School. They actually got an A. However, not all schools are doing as well here. Duval County overall received a B grade, but for surrounding counties, St. John's, Clay, and Nassau all received A's overall, while Putnam and Bradford counties received C. So back to Duval, Mount Hermon ESC Center is the only Duval school the Department of Education listed as unsatisfactory for a school improvement rating. 21 schools received a D or an F in Duval. Four schools that are listed as failing are Grand Park Career Center in Northwest Jacksonville, Wayman Academy of the Arts on the west side, Somerset Academy Elementary Eagle Campus in Arlington, and Youth Development Center. We also have some more new information about something a little bit different about teacher vacancies in Florida. Now experts believe the state could have more than 9,000 teacher vacancies by the end of this year. Duval County Public Schools released a statement to us saying that they have 529 vacancies and the school board is working to try to retain teachers by asking voters to approve a property tax levy in August primary to attract and retain qualified teachers. We have a little bit more information about that right there. And if you go to firstcoastnews.com in just a little bit or you can check out my Twitter right now, you can see the link where you can search for your school in particular any school in Florida, find out what the grade is for this year. Live in Jacksonville, I'm Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.